my little horsies. Well, my very big horse and my very little pony. <laughs> Hello, Jacko. Come here, baby. Oh, Fiona. So here I am with Mr. Jacko. Oh, poor Fiona. Fiona is missing him, but Fiona is next to the field with the other horses. Like, she's not on her own. She's just an Egypt. So here's Jacko. So for those of you who do not know, Jack is actually my first ever pony. We bought him when he was just a foal and now he's 10 years old. Hey. Um, I rode him for a couple of years, um, but then I was unfortunately grew out of ponies. So I couldn't ride him. I couldn't compete him because I was too old. Um, and then he kind of just like was in the field for ages doing nothing. And then at the start or earlier this year, I advertised him looking for a loan home. And I found a really good one. Um, it was quite far away, but um, I kind of knew the person through a friend. Um, but unfortunately, she has another horse and she doesn't really have enough time now. So she doesn't really have enough time, like uh, she works and then she has two ponies on livery. So it's kind of like, yeah, she had to send him back anyway, which was unfortunate because it seemed like an ideal home. But uh, maybe it's a blessing disguise. Cause because I'm going to get to ride him now. I'm going to ride him around so you guys are going to see how he is. I'm going to give him a jump and everything. Like he's fit, he's clipped and everything. Like he's ready to work. Um, I'm just going to ride him for a bit, see what he's like. Um, obviously I haven't ridden him in a while. I haven't seen him in ages. So, and then I'm going to see what he's like and then hopefully find another loan home for him. Um, it'll be kind of like within my area and stuff. So I probably won't like find a loan home through um like social media or anything so don't ask about him if you don't know me personally because i think i'm gonna um only send him to someone if i know them or know someone that knows them you know just because i don't want him to go somewhere i don't know what these people are like um so yeah that is jack's crack he is a connemara full connemara he his i've owned his two full brothers and they both jumped to 120 so he is a good little breeding on him he's quite small he's only 14 one uh which is a pity but um i'm i'm not too heavy for him anyway even though i do look too big on him uh, so yeah i'm going to go tack him up now and have a bit of fun he's all tacked up obviously my saddle is way too big for him but my pony saddle uh, doesn't have any stirrups or anything so it's just going to do for today and tomorrow i'll get the pony saddle Good boy Jack, whoa, very good boy. So my dad's gonna be back in a second and then I'm gonna go and ride him and get some cute videos. Bit of a difference between him and Fiona. A bit of a difference, yeah. <laughs> They're fucking half the size. You what? That was lovely. Holy Jesus. Very good. Good boy. Oh my God, he's just flat.
<laughs> no, Jack, you have to walk one more lap. You have to walk off, like. The warm down is just as important as the warm up, Jack. <laughs> that was a tiny circle. It doesn't count. Mr. Jack goes on the hunt. Which hand? Pick a hand, Jack. <laughs> Pick a hand. That one? Is it the winner? Oh, it's the winner! Well done, you actually got that! <laughs> Just tell the fucking name. Well done, Jacko. So Jack is still an absolute legend. Some things never change. I just hopped up, hop, hopped up on him there now and jumped 110 vertical because he's just like such a legend. I just cantered on down to it very, very easily. Just pops over it. Like he will make some kid extremely happy. Um, like, oh God. Like if someone gave me this pony when I was a kid, I would just be so happy. I just need to find the right kid. And they are out there, I just need to find them. And convince their parents is probably the hardest part. So yeah, Jack was a legend. The only thing is on the right rein in the canter, he felt a little bit funny um, behind. And when I asked him to bend to the right, he was nearly kind of doing like little books behind just cause he didn't, and he's kind of changing behind then. He wasn't comfortable definitely on the right rein in the canter. So I'm going to give him a bit of a feel. <laughs> Sounds a bit weird, but <laughs> see if he's sore anywhere and do a few stretches and see if that helps and I'll just do a lot of flat work. This ride was just to kind of suss out where he is. Oh my God, Ex overexposed, like, oh, oh Jacko. I would recognize Jack's neigh anywhere. It's so hoarse, excuse the pun, but it's really hoarse and cr croaky, like he's like an old man. Anyway, this uh, ride was just to suss out what kind of, like where he's at. Obviously, as I said, I haven't seen him in ages, so he might have been like, dressage superstar he might have been absolutely atrocious I didn't think he was going to be atrocious in fairness I've been seeing lots of videos of him and he looked like he was going great but uh, yeah um, I'm going to just now school him I'll talk you through everything that I'm going to do with him over the next few weeks because obviously I'm doing vlogmas so you guys will see every single step of what I do and how I'm going to get him to supple on that right rein because he was very stiff and kind of bending to the left but then the left rein he felt super so I think it's just a bit of a stiffness maybe so I'm going to do some carrot stretches with him and also yeah I'm gonna do some lunging on the right rein he's always been stiff on the right rein in fairness like um, since he was been broken uh, so it's just something that you just need to keep on top of I think so yeah I'm absolutely delighted with him he was an absolute legend jump at 110 so confident like I'm so glad he came like he was still really confident jumping because once uh, someone else was riding him and he got a little bit wary about the jumps and it was kind of chipping half strides and that and um, so it was a little bit on my mind but he came back so good he is raring to jump he loves it um, and he felt really, really good. So yeah, I'm so excited to keep riding him over the Christmas. Um, probably won't have a super duper load of time to ride him, but um, yeah, I've been rambling for three minutes now, so I'm definitely gonna stop. So I'm just going to untack him now and do his stretches. The good and bad thing about Jack is that he's so food orientated, he will do anything for food, including every trick under the sun that he knows. I'm not asking him to do this. Yeah, now I'll ask him, and then he'll get the treat. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do these um his uh carrot stretches now. Obviously not with carrots because I don't have any. Good. He is very clever. So one of the days of the vlog, I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to the stretches I do with the horses, and set up a tripod. <laughs> Look at this idiot beside me. And set up a tripod so I can get like um, a clearer picture and I can show you actually Jack compared to Fiona because Jack is very flexible. I just did the stretches there. He finds them so easy. It's very easy for me to do them with him because there's no resistance. I just lift up his legs and he just stretches very easily. Whereas Fiona, it's a lot harder. Um, it's gotten way better. She used to be absolutely useless. Couldn't do them at all, but um, she's gotten way better. And I can see that in her flower work and her riding now as well. So I would definitely recommend doing them. I will tell you all about them. One of the days maybe that it's quieter and there's nothing interesting really to film down the yard. I will do, 
You're so bold. <laughs> He's just the best pony in the world. I actually love him so much. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, um, I'm just gonna finish the stretches and then I'm gonna put him out. <laughs> he can't. He's too cute. <laughs> Bye guys. There's a little rug on. I'm so glad I kept my rugs from when I had ponies. Um, because now I can reuse them for little Mr. Jacko. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to put him out now with Fiona because she's missing him a lot. Hey, come here. Someone called Hopper a tripod dog in one of my other videos and it is just my favorite thing and I love it so much. Come on, tripod. Let's go. Come on. He's a little bit wary of the horses. Come on. Hello. Come here. Yes. <laughs> so he only likes coming over if I like sit with him. He's a little bit scared of them. So Fiona will get the day off today um, because obviously she had two very hard days yesterday or the last two days um, but I'm very lucky that I know she won't get stiff or anything because she's out in the field 24 hours a day so she's able to like walk around. Um, if she was stabled I would definitely have to take her out. <coughs> them out and then talk to you about this. <laughs> Fiona, you're a big drama queen. Like the other horses are just over there. But Fiona says no. I need Jack. And then she'll do a big squeal probably. Don't do it. Yeah, good girl. So as I was saying, I would have had to take her out and give her a bit of a stretch um, if she was stabled. But she's doing all that stretching by herself going around the field chilling. I'm very, very lucky we can keep our horses out all year round. Very, very lucky. The other horses are down there. These two are here for ease of access. <laughs> so I can just pull them in from the field very quickly, um, ride them and put them back out and resume my study. <laughs> this is how I bribe my horses for them to love me. All I want is for you to love me. You cuties. You're so cute. Jack. Okay, you can do a trick for it. Thank you. Oh, don't take my finger. Okay, girl, if you want, I don't have any more. Sorry. Sorry. Bye. See you guys. Oh. See you guys. You ready? Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's go. He finds us so exciting every time. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> He's still super fast. Even for a tripod dog. Woohoo! Good boys! Good boy. Let's go. So my plan now is to go back up to the house and study for the rest of the day. Woo! I love studying so much. Um, probably do a little time lapse of me tip a tapping away on my laptop. Um, <laughs> maybe I'll talk to you about what I'm studying to make it like somewhat interesting. I need to do this and it's not gonna happen. Right. So today I'm studying urology. Yes, is a load of piss. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah just going through the lectures and writing little notes and some of it of the exam is MCQ so I'm like writing out MCQ questions like if I was the lecturer what would I ask <laughs> so um, hopefully this works <laughs> and yeah that's what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna tidy up all my rubbish so I guess I'll tell you the plan for tomorrow so you'll come back for the next vlog Tomorrow I'm going to lunch Fiona over race trotting poles. I'm going to talk to you about them, why I do them, because they are a lifesaver. And I'll show you clips of exactly how much good they do. Um, I'm going to, I might actually lunch Jack over race trotting poles too, just to figure out that uh, right rein thing. I'm going to clean the lorry is the main thing. The lorry needs to be cleaned. It is so dirty from the show. I didn't have time to clean it today, but when I live in it, like, oh, 
I'm just really messy and I don't even know. I know why. Well, I don't know why, but I know how. I just chuck my stuff everywhere. Like when I'm getting changed, I just like chuck it on the floor or the bed. And then that becomes my wardrobe. But unfortunately, the lorry is so tiny that it's very obvious when I do that and I need to clean it. It's also a bit dirty and I need to give it a good sweep out and everything. So yeah, it's getting a big makeover for the winter because it won't be used now for a while. And it just needs to be all nice and clean. So yeah, nothing gets all damp and gross. So yeah, I'll see you up the house. Trying to study is hard. And you have these two puppies. Leaning on the keyboard. <laughs> so long and sweet. Good night, little baby. Good night, other little baby. Good night, little baby. Good night, my baby. Oh. Hey guys, so it is only nine o'clock, but I'm absolutely wrecked. I've been studying like all evening. I've been trying to study. <laughs> I just feel like I have like an infinite amount of work to do and hopefully I get it done before my exams. And if not, then I'm just gonna fail. <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to edit this vlog now and then have it upload overnight because I'm on the ball apparently. Some people were giving out to me that I only upload my vlogs the day after they're filmed. But I think that's the way that most like vlogmases do it. Well, you know like Zoella, I used to watch her vlogmases and she definitely uploads them the day after. And she's like a very big channel, so if she can do it, then I definitely can do it. And as I was saying before, my Wi-Fi is so slow, like it's actually impossible. Like if I was to upload the vlog now, like it, it wouldn't be uploaded until tomorrow morning anyway. So yeah, I just decided I would do them the day afterwards because it's just it just makes sense. So yes, I am going to edit the vlog, have a shower and go to bed. My favorite thing, my favorite part of the day, going to bed. <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> Right, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.